Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today I've got one bad to the bone 72 C10 for you. It's done in a really nice graphite gray, metallic. It just looks absolutely beautiful in the sunlight, as you can tell. This truck's got several goodies, such as a six liter LS motor underneath the hood, big brakes, suspension, custom interior. I can keep going and going, but let's go ahead and jump into this video. Let's start up front. Bumper's in excellent condition. It is paint matched to match the rest of the truck. Same with the grill. You have some really nice LED tail or headlights there that look really good. Overall, just very, very nice on the front. As we work our way around the front of the truck here, you've got a nice, uh, looks like an inch and a half cow hood here, and it is a steel hood, no fiberglass there. Steel is always the best because it fits the best. As we look at the fender here, it looks like it's in really good condition. I don't see any imperfection. The paint looks very nice on this. No orange peel, anything like that. Just has a brilliant shine to it. You got some nice 20 inch multi-spoke wheels there from Riddler with some six piston wheel wood brakes to give you excellent stopping power. You've got your C10 badge here that looks really good on the truck. Kind of gives it some accent to that graphite gray color that we have here. You've got some really nice uh, matte black mirrors that look really good on the truck. All your like chrome trim and everything that goes around the windows and the wing windows has been blacked out in a gloss black. Looks really good as well as your door handles here. Your drip rail is in excellent condition. The paint across the roof looks excellent. Your door is in excellent shape. You've got good body lines here. Um, and all your gaps look pretty good as well. As we work our way down the side of the bed here, once again, no major imperfections. I'm not seeing any dents of any kind. Overall, very, very good body work here on this truck. You do have the 20 inch wheel out, out back here with the six piston wheel wood brakes. Looks very nice. You do have a nice tunnel cover here as well. Also meant to mention all the glass on the cab is in good condition and it is slightly tinted to help keep you cool inside the cab when you got the AC going. As we work our way around the back here, you can notice that your back bumper has been deleted and a nice roll pan has been installed. You have LED tail lights as well that just gives this truck this really nice uh, attitude out back and just looks really good. We'll go ahead and open up the tailgate here. You do have a car cover that comes with this truck. Uh, the bed has been done in a rhino lining and is very good, in good shape. No major dents or anything like that. It looks really nice. We'll have some better pictures on our website if you want to see the inside the bed there, guys. I'll have some better pictures on the website, collectiblemotor.com, and you can go in there and see them. But let's go ahead and work our way up front so I can show you the six liter under the hood. All right, guys, check out the engine bay on this beautiful 72 C10. Just very sterile and clean under the hood here. You've got a six liter LQ4 engine there. Check out the in intake piping there. It's also been painted the same color as the truck to help match everything under the hood. But like I said, guys, just very well done, very clean. All the wiring has been tucked underneath that engine cover so you don't see a bunch of wires everywhere. You have the Willwood and C CPP master cylinder over there for your brakes. Uh, just a very, very nice setup there. That's a hydro boost setup. You do have the billet hinges as well. And just take a look at how clean the hood is here underneath. It's all been painted and just looks fantastic, as well as your radiator shroud and your front uh, cover here for the grill, all been painted and just looks very, very clean. Super, super nice truck, guys. But let's go ahead and check out the interior on this one. All right, guys, check out the interior on this beautiful 72 C10. Um, I'm gonna start over here. I wanna talk about the door panels. Door panels have all been painted. You got a nice little bit of carpet down here on the bottom, and you've got a six by nine, it looks like, down there in the door to give you some good sound. Like I said, all your window here is typically chrome, but they have painted it a gloss black just to give you that really sporty resto mod look. Super nice. You do have chrome door handle here and a chrome window crank. Gives you a little bit of accent to match the rest of the chrome inside the cab. You've got a nice forever sharp steering wheel here. Uh, very nice three spoke, super clean. Uh, you got a nice dash pad that's in excellent condition. Your dash has been painted to match the exterior of the truck. You've got these really, really nice Dakota digital gauges that have a little bit of uh, carbon fiber on the background with red accents. Gives you a really sporty look. You've got your AC controls here. This truck does have nice cold AC. And as you guys can tell, I'm sitting on a really nice custom, uh, what I call a bucket slash bench seat. 
um, super nice. You can actually fold this up and you can put your kid there or, you know, whatever your dog can sit there with you and ride with you if you want. Or you can have the old lady slide over and get close to you. But you have a nice leather headline or two that's done in black. Same with your visors. Overall, just a very, very clean interior. Very nice. Everything's been touched in here and just gives it a really sporty look. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take this one for a drive. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out in the 72 C10 taking it for a drive, and this truck drives even better than it looks. Fantastic driving truck, plenty of power. When you lay this thing to the floor, it will definitely get the tires loose. So plenty of power for this truck. It drives really good. Steering feels really nice, and that's all part of the suspension that's been done on this truck, and we'll get to that when we get back to the shop and put it up on the lift. I'll go over that in detail, but this truck has some nice uh, aftermarket suspension on it to really give it a good ride. Um, AC's blowing ice cold. It's about 92, 93 degrees today here in Georgia. And overall, it just keeps you nice and cool in here. I do like a little bit of tinted windows in here to help keep everything cool and give you a little bit of privacy too when you're driving it. But overall, the truck is fantastic. Suspension feels great. Brakes feel good. Um, really nice acceleration coming from the six liter under the hood. But everything in here works as it should, guys. Uh, radio works, we would play it, but we don't wanna get a uh, copyright. For the video but overall just a very nice truck and this engine runs really well in here definitely done right easily can merge into traffic no problems with that but overall just a fantastic truck guys i uh, drive a lot of vehicles and i would say this one is up there just drives really really nicely but let's go ahead and get back to the shop and put this one on the lift all right, guys, we're back here at the dealership and we've got the truck up on the lift. I want to start up front here. Check out those frame horns. Nice and straight, good condition. No signs of accidents on the front end of this truck. You've got a nice thick sway bar. That is a CPP brand uh, sway bar. And you also get the CPP upper and lower tubular control arms as well as some Beltec shocks and springs and spindles that give you the drop on this truck. Check out how dry the oil pan is on this six liter LQ4, nice and clean. You do have an aftermarket torque converter there and you've got a 4L80 transmission that can handle all the power that six liter is throwing. You got some nice dual exhaust here with some MagnaFlow resonators that run up to some stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers. And the truck sounds absolutely fantastic, has a good rumble to it, but not so loud that you're gonna tick off the neighbors in the morning when you go to cars and coffee. You got some aftermarket uh, boxed in trailing arms here. You've got a one piece drive shaft, some nice upgrades for this truck, as well as some Belltech lowering springs and street shocks from Belltech. This truck just drives fantastic. Another thing that I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention just a second ago was you do have four wheel disc brakes on this truck and it is wheel wood. So you got four piston out back here and six piston up front and this truck has no issue stopping. The floor pans are in great condition, no signs of rust on this truck. Just a fantastic truck. If you guys would like to see all the pictures on this truck, you can go to our website at collectiblemotorcar.com and I've got a full description with all the modifications done on this truck as well as about 70 photos. So if you guys wanna see that, go to the website and check that out. If you guys wanna call us and ask us any questions in person, you can reach me, Chris, or my partner, Justin, at 770-738-7111. We would love to help park this beauty in your driveway. We can help you with financing, shipping, anything that you need. It's a non-hassle non process and we can help you with it. But guys, before you leave this video, do us a favor, hit this thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We see that a lot of you guys are watching these videos, but you're not subscribed. Go ahead and help us out with making this awesome content for you guys. Subscribe to the channel because we're all the time coming out with really cool car content and with doing reviews on some really cool vehicles like this beautiful 72 C10. But till then, we'll catch you on the next one.